Do you ever wonder how people in the old days stored food without refrigeration? Did you know that the average American household wastes $1,500 worth of food each year? With the increasing frequency of power outages, knowing how to store food without refrigeration is more important than ever. Long-term food storage has played a vital role in countless real-life situations. For example, during Hurricane Katrina, many families who had stored non-perishable food items could sustain themselves for weeks until help arrived. In this video, we'll discuss how to store food for up to a year without using a refrigerator. We'll teach you the most popular methods of food preservation and give some tips on choosing the right method for your needs. Are you tired of throwing away food that goes bad before you can eat it? Do you live in an area where power outages are common? If so, you need to learn how to store food long-term without refrigeration. So whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, I hope you find this video useful. Let's get started. Welcome back to What the Prepping. First and foremost, it's crucial to choose the right types of food for long-term storage. Opt for foods with a long shelf life and minimal moisture content. Canned goods, dried fruits and vegetables, rice, pasta, beans and grains are all excellent choices. Remember to rotate your stock regularly to ensure freshness. For instance, canned tuna can last up to 5 years when stored properly, while dehydrated beans and grains can maintain their quality for decades, making them ideal staples for long-term food storage. Now that we have covered the essentials, let's move on to the storage methods. We'll discuss three main techniques – vacuum sealing, mylar bags, and canning. Vacuum sealing is a fantastic way to extend the shelf life of your food. It removes and seals the air in an airtight environment, protecting it from moisture and potential contaminants. Removing air from the packaging creates an environment where bacteria and other microorganisms cannot thrive. Additionally, the absence of oxygen slows down the oxidation process, preserving your food's taste and nutritional value. Make sure you use a high-quality vacuum sealer and sturdy bags designed for long-term storage. Simply place your food in the bag, insert it into the sealer, and let it work its magic. For example, properly vacuum-sealed meat can last up to two to three years, while vegetables and fruits can maintain their freshness for one to two years. Vacuum sealing not only prevents freezer burn, but also preserves the flavor and nutritional value of your food. It also does other wonders. Take vacuum-sealed coffee beans, which can stay fresh for up to five times longer compared to traditional packaging, allowing you to enjoy the aroma and flavor of freshly roasted coffee even during extended periods. Mylar bags, combined with oxygen absorbers, are another effective option for long-term food storage. These bags are made from a durable, metallic material that creates a barrier against moisture, light, and oxygen. Add an appropriate amount of food to each bag, along with an oxygen absorber, and seal it tightly using a heat sealer. This method is handy for bulk storage. Many survivalists and outdoor enthusiasts rely on mylar bags and oxygen absorbers to preserve essential items like dehydrated milk, powdered eggs, and spices. With this technique, you can confidently store these items for up to 25 years, ensuring a reliable supply in any situation. Oxygen absorbers are small packets that contain iron powder, which absorbs oxygen from the surrounding environment. By placing one or more oxygen absorbers in your mylar bags, you create an oxygen-free environment, inhibiting the growth of bacteria and preventing spoilage. This technique has been used by survivalists and emergency preppers to store items like rice, flour, and dehydrated foods for up to 25 years. Canning is a time-tested method that allows you to preserve a wide range of foods. There are two main canning methods, water bath canning and pressure canning. Water bath canning is suitable for acidic foods like fruits and tomatoes, while pressure canning is necessary for low-acid foods like vegetables and meats. Each method destroys harmful microorganisms, making the food safe for long-term storage. It involves heat processing jars filled with food to kill any bacteria, yeasts, or molds that might cause spoilage. This process creates a vacuum seal, ensuring the food remains safe and edible for an extended period. Follow the proper canning procedures and guidelines for each type of food to ensure safety. A remarkable example of the effectiveness of canning is the story of Sarah, a homesteader who relied on her home canned vegetables and fruits 
during an extended period of isolation. She could enjoy nutritious meals thanks to her canning skills even when access to fresh produce was limited. Let's take a look at a real-life example. Imagine you have an abundant harvest of tomatoes from your garden. Instead of letting them go to waste, you can use them for long-term storage. By using the water bath canning method, you'll fill sterilized jars with tomatoes, add a bit of salt or citric acid for preservation, and process them using boiling water. These canned tomatoes can last for up to 12 to 18 months, allowing you to enjoy the taste of summer all year round. Now that your food is properly sealed, and stored, keeping it in a suitable environment is essential. Choose a cool, dry, and dark location to prevent heat and sunlight from affecting your food. A basement cellar or pantry are ideal options. Remember to keep your storage area clean and organized, rotating older items to the front for easy accessibility. Here's a pro tip. Consider using airtight containers or storage bins to keep your food organized and protected from pests. Labeling your containers with the contents and the date of storage can also help you keep track of your inventory. Airtight containers or storage bins are not only useful for organizing your pantry, but also for protecting your food from pests like insects and rodents. These containers create an additional layer of defense against external factors that could compromise your long-term food storage. Additionally, maintaining a consistent temperature of around 50 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 to 21 degrees Celsius in your storage area will further ensure the longevity of your stored food. Over time, it's natural for the quality of certain foods to deteriorate. To ensure you're consuming nutritious meals, periodically check the stored items for signs of spoilage or degradation. Look out for bulging cans, foul odors, or any visible mold. When in doubt, it's better to be safe than sorry. Discard anything suspicious. Let's remember the importance of meal planning during emergencies or long-term storage. Take into consideration the nutritional value and versatility of your stored foods. With a well-thought-out meal plan, you can ensure a balanced diet and avoid food fatigue during challenging times. And there you have it, our guide to storing food long-term without refrigeration. By utilizing vacuum sealing, mylar bags, and canning techniques, you can build a well-stocked pantry that will sustain you in times of need. Remember, preparation is key to managing your self-reliance. Stay tuned for more prepping tips and tricks on our channel. Until next time, stay prepared and stay safe.